today we got Ben of the Week. I try every legal addiction. I, I, I don't know what y'all got me watching, but we watching. In Catholic school, we were taught your body is a temple. I disagree. My body is a garbage disposal. First of all, bro. You know what's crazy? I heard about this guy already, like, like a little bit, but not as much. But what is this dude trying to get at, bro? He's trying every hard, whatever he got going on, energy drink. What is this? Body is a garbage disposal made to inhale vapes with Spotify installed on them, pop packets of microplastic lace nicotine, and chug foot-long tequila Baja Blast phrases from Taco Bell. Uh, today, I'm consuming four addictive things that are perfectly legal to see if I'll get addicted. Why would I willingly do this to myself, you ask? Well, I've actually been addicted to two of these in the past. Man, you did it because you actually liked it, my guy. And it's crazy that you started at the age of 18. You started gambling at the age of 16. Oh, y'all made me sick. Also, 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 RP to uh, Richard McQuan, y'all. But I really feel like we losing a lot of greats, man. We losing, we losing too many, bro. We losing too many all because of like stuff like this. So I'm kind of glad that y'all did end up uh, recommending the channel itself. And basically his whole channel relates to him doing stuff like this. And I'm pretty sure he got a sponsor in this video or something. But man. And I want to test if Stay I'm Stay away from the drugs, y'all. Starting with. I know there's lots of different places to buy these. I went to a random smoke shop near me. And I was asking for the vape with the touch screen on it. And the clerk led me into the. Man, my man's got King Carson on the phone. I went to a random smoke shop near me, and I was asking for the vape with the touchscreen. Man, I got the King Carson on the phone. And the clerk led me into the back area where he pulled up this box that was like a shit. He must be in New York. Like, like China. <laughs> and it was a secret box full of geek bars, special for me. Like what? Oh, like, uh, you want? Uh, guys. Ah. I'm not gonna lie. America kind of make me sick a little bit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It, it, I'm starting to get something right, like right here, bro. Like they really trying to make the world even worse, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like, listen, chat. When I tell you, bro, I, it was like a couple days ago, bro. A couple days ago, they said that a lot of people who was smoking cigars or whatever, like cigarettes, bro. They said the rate went down exponentially, bro. Like, like it was like it went like it was like this. Now it's this. I'm like, dang, what made it do that? Bro, it was a V-A-P-I-N-G, bro. That's what, that's the new trend, I guess you want to say, that everybody doing. Me personally, bro, I already tried it before. Bro, it didn't, it didn't get me addicted, but I can tell why it gets you addicted, bro. Especially the flavors and stuff like that. Y'all, bro, it's just like. America know what it's doing, bro. If it really wants to better the the, the the state country however you want to put it the country then take away all the bad stuff bro like me already bad enough and all this other stuff that's that we eat already bro that's why we humans are not really supposed to be eating all this type of stuff bro for real we supposed to live until like a hundred something bro for real but we passed away a little bit of Fast now because of what's going on here, bro. That's the one thing I don't like about it. You know what I mean? Like, you want geek bar or rice? Frozen strawberry? I was trying to Frozen blend strawberry. in with someone who it's knows crazy. about vapes, so I said, <laughs> Kelly, all sound delicious. <laughs> and California cherry. You like California cherry one? Some boy got me the fucking cherry. exclusive California cherry geek bar. That's just really on a shelf. So that sound like some addictive stuff. Supply, I'm going to set a timer, and every hour of the day, I have to take a ginormous hit or pop us in, and after a few days, I will be dead. <laughs> Definitely is, I ain't gonna lie. It's day one, and what are we having for breakfast? <laughs> My California cherry geek. Bro, you make all this money, bro. I'm pretty sure you got so many sponsorships. Getting paid really good money off these videos that you making or whatever by testing out these products, bro. Really, he's kind of helping the um community, like the 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 V A P E community, bro. Like honestly, bro, because he's just testing it out and he basically promoting their brand too at the same time, like on the low key, like probably not even for a sponsorship. But it's just like, bro, I don't, uh, 
This is sick, bro. This is sick. My California cherry geek. You making all this money and you sleeping like that, dude. Geek bar. This is so new to me. This is so different than a jewel. I'm kind of scared of this because I just saw a video of the factories where they make these. And they have, like, a dude whose job it is to, like, hit every single vape and make sure it works. So, like, are we going to, like, indirectly kiss here? It says, may the pulse be with you. <gasps> is this a touch screen? Uh that's when it gets to a point, dog. Like, like it's touchscreen, bro. It's really touchscreen, bro. And it's crazy. I be seeing a lot of people with this specific one too, bro. Bro, they I could have sworn, like I swear to God, I seen somebody one time, bro. They really opened it up, or they did something with the charger to make it actually charge or whatever. Like they 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 like some geek techs, bro. They some geek techs. Yeah. Ugh. What? Why did y'all want me to react to this video? In the, but I hope y'all don't think I'm finna try this out. Because I'm definitely not. I might for one video. One video, probably. But other than that, I'm never, I'm never, 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 bro. I hope y'all ain't no fiends, bro. I really hope y'all not, bro. Send my video. Do better in life, bro. Come on, man. Like, go outside. Do something. I know I don't get outside. Because I be trying to make these banker videos for y'all. That's different. But I still go outside. You go check out my vlog channel. Link in the description. So oh. it says, "May the pulse be with you." <gasps> Is this a touch screen? All right, taste test. Taste test. I like trying new food. <laughs> what you expect, man? If fucking burn my throat, so you gonna mess oh, up this God. I don't feel anything other than like a burnt throat. <laughs> So now we set a timer for an hour, and every hour we geek. Regular nicotine time. This is like the one nicotine product I'm really scared of, cause bro, when I seen this for the first time, this type of like the Zen thingy, whatever it is called, bro, a hundred, bro, a hundred, and just that one little thing right there. I thought it was a gum mint or something, bro. Cause this is the only one that like doesn't physically hurt. There's one single video that's res That's crazy, bro. This is just like, oh my god. Oh, it's just like a child lock on it. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Like that's it. They smell minty mixed with like row 46 of a spirit flight. So apparently you just take it and you put it in your gums. Uh are people really walking around just like talking like this? Like, like with a little pillow fucking microplastic in their mouth? Like they're so stupid. You're not supposed to swallow the spit apparently too. Otherwise you're gonna talk again. Uh, okay, something's happening. I so what's the oh, point? Ow. I don't know, I think it's placebo, but I feel like a little bit of a tingle. Ow, it like literally burns. Horrible fucking feeling. Like, white where I put it, it's like burning. Ow! I started to feel the effects when I was in the car, and my head felt like a watermelon with 400 elastic bands on it, and... <laughs> my man's head shaking, bro. You should sure already knew what you was getting into. My hands were shaking. But the huffing and puffing did not stop. Does puppy want his in? Uh, he gotta out. spit it out. At about out. the five minute mark, the burning was so painful, I had to find a place to spit it out, but the garbage cans near me were bolted. Are you serious? You're telling me, is that serious? He, he gotta be in New York. He gotta be. New York or Jersey, whatever, bro, because I ain't never seen a lot on a trash can before. We don't got that down here, bro. And that's just being petty, in my opinion, bro. That, that, that just so petty. Garbage cans near me were bolted shut. So through tears, I ran to another garbage can and spat it out. Hawk to a, hawk to a, hawk to a. This burning is apparently called Zingle. Zin tingle. It literally feels like Satan put his big old fucking in, in my mouth and took a boil. Okay, bro, you, 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 you dragging it, bro. You dragging it, bro. You dragging it, bro. You dragging it, bro. Are you, bro? Come on, man. We ain't here. We ain't here to hear you talk about and stuff, bro. I don't know your preference, but hey, if you like what you like, you like what you like. Simple, but come on, my God, that was a horrible example with the little, 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 little. 
whatever is in whatever it's called, bro. Boiling piss at my gob. I wouldn't say I'm starting to need these, but I do want them all the time. Oh no! What? Um, bro, what do you think you're making? Oh. It, it's just like, bro, like, I, it's like, bro, it's like telling somebody, like, bro, it's bad for you, but they continue to do it even though they know that it's bad for them, bro. Like, they like, bro, it's like, it's like this, bro. Everybody be like, oh, we're all going to pass away one day. I'm going to live my life to the fullest and do what I want to do. Bro, are you telling me you want to smoke your whole life away, bro? You want to do all these bad things, chemicals that's not even supposed to be here, for real. Like you don't care about. It's like you. It's like you saying you don't care about life. That's what it's like saying. It's like y'all yeah, don't care about life, bro. It, it's just like sick, bro. Like you gotta think of it like this: the people that's on this earth right now. You first of all, you don't even know what time you're leaving this earth. So why not make it to the fullest to your ability to try to stay healthy as possible without doing all this stuff right here, bro? Because this is not getting you nowhere in life, bro. You're going to end up losing teeth, rotting your teeth, uh, having uh, uh, breathing problems, um, shoot, bad breath. It's like so many things that's like you got to count them, bro. Like you got to figure out the differences, like. What's, what's beneficial if you use it? What's not beneficial, bro? All it does is make you, like, fuzzy and out of nowhere. <laughs> you you feel like you out of space, bro. You don't want to be in reality and stuff like that. Or, you know, you emptying your mind so you got to deal with problems, bro. At the end of the day, you still got to deal with the problems after the whole situation is over. Like, after you do that, you know what I'm saying? That's just an example of one, one issue or whatever. But it's just like, bro, y'all just, you got people in this world that actually loves you and want to see you do great in life, bro. And I know your parents is not following what they told you. Because I have, I have parents that was like, oh, you better not do this, you better not do this. But they continue to do it. Make, what makes you feel like, oh, I can do it too. But it's like, it's your life. So... Why not do the actual right thing? Actually look up some research about whatever you got going on. You don't even have to be all big and like a big old essay of research. It's just like, what's the pros and the cons of, but 100%, this right here is a con. 100%, bro. I don't care what anybody say, bro. It just gets you a little bit of hoo and then you're dealing with all the side effects in the future, bro. <laughs> I must just swallow this in. This is done. We're done. <laughs> We're fucking done. Overall effects. I really feel like you do it off. It feels oh. like my head is gonna explode. It feels like my heart is beating 4,000 beats per minute. So now that that's done, We're gonna transfer my nicotine addiction to two to four coffees a day makes you technically caffeine dependent, caffeine addicted. I've had maybe three full mm. cups of coffee in my entire life. It's disgusting. It's it's right. I hate the, I hated the coffee, bro. I tried that up, bro. I was I was really like bad. Look, I know I'm I know, bro. I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just say this quick. When I was working back then, bro, I was like drinking all the energy drinks in the world so I can stay up because I hate being tired or whatever. I had to wake up at five in the morning, be there at six in the morning, work till two, bro, two p.m. It was very draining, bro. And I was doing YouTube on the side, too. It's just like, bro, I was working too hard. So much content ideas in my head. Like, I want to do it all, bro. But when I taste that coffee, it tasted nasty. They talk about add sugar and stuff, all that other stuff in there. I'm not adding nothing. I'm throwing this away. Bane water! But to kick this off, I will try one. I went to this local cute little coffee shop in my area called Duncan and ordered Dunkin Dunkin medium black coffee, please. This medium black? Oh, black this coffee is, is crazy. Count your fucking days, Charlie D'Amelio. So I burnt the fuck out of my nipple. So on that note, I picked up what God intended for us caffeine-wise. Red Bull, Celsius, 
and cold cold brew that, that's still coffee and over a week i would just have four caffeinated things a day like this energy waffle that tasted like a roof shingle or this five hour energy that made me bike 30 miles per hour or the many many energy drinks i drank it was all too much because the ekg on my apple watch said that my bro like how a minute 169 every minute bro Pe beats per minute bro that that's sick that's sick you're messing up your health bro all for a video dude like i get it you do it one time just to try it out okay cool but bro i'm pretty sure this whole video is about all of this stuff that you got going on right now bro they just took my money like they did this on purpose they rigged the game got too many options i got too many options bad bitch in my phone like what you want what's good what's pop not from new york but i'm on that time she want to run my pockets this ain't what you want uh -uh, so go and see anything possible man keep grinding man you need to do better in life, bro. For real, bro. You doing it, bro. It's just sick, bro. Sick. Heart rate was like heart attack territory, which is not a fun territory to be in. So I thought, hey, let's cool it on the uppers. Try out some oh, downers. That's what I want to say. How are your sleep schedule not messed up, bro? It got to be because he in the dark. Five drinks a night or 15 drinks a week is technically alcoholism. I thankfully despise the taste of alcohol and it makes me gag, but this will be a little bit of a challenge to fit in 15 a week. I, I took a mind. shot at a party here, a can of wine on the plane watching the Garfield movie there, which is even worse while you're drunk, a vodka cran at a Ken Carson concert, and then three more, and then somehow I convinced security that I was the press and got backstage and started filming the concert with a random camera someone gave to me, and then I went into the mosh pit and nearly fucking died. But I really Realize I need to get into the binge mode. And thankfully, there's one place that screams addiction of many kinds. Las Vegas! I went to Las Vegas, my least favorite place in the world for yeah. this video. I had the window seat and I made this old lady get up uh, when she had just taken like 40 minutes to sit down because she was old. And at one point during the play, I thought she died. She just like slumped down and I was like, Bro, are you serious, bro? You really making jokes like that, bro? I I I I really don't get this dude, bro. Why did y'all why did y'all have me watch him, bro? Like, is this supposed to be a funny video or like like you had no reason to say that, bro. That's so bro, that's messed up, bro. For real, bro. And then you got on camera. She don't even know she on camera, bro. Thought she died, she just like slumped down and I was like, <gasps> a stroke, a stroke, a stroke. Uh, but then she rebooted and she was fine. I got What y'all expect me expect from this video from me, but a plane. I hope you didn't think I was actually gonna agree with all this stuff, bro. Welcome to Las Vegas, the purest form of capitalism. The capitalism. Like he seemed like a good kid for sure, for sure, like a grown adult or whatever. Like he actually like seemed like he'd do good things, but the route that he's taking right now is, it's like he's he's a he's like a test dummy to everybody, like like trying things that nobody did to see if they're actually like. Like, like before they do it, I want to see somebody else do it, bro. Like that, he's one of them. He's a guinea pig. He's a test guinea pig, bro. Like, we will ever experience. We can see a giant glowing emoji orb, or have a drink made by a robot bartender. That I want to go a there. Mom with three kids working a minimum wage. That's it also tasted like shit. Anyways, my second stop was Taco Bell Cantina, where you can get foot long tequila Baja Blast freezes. That look hard. And get married. Was it? Aquí te voy a dejar un poquito antes. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> My man did not speak a lick of English. Latina. I thought it was Latino. I thought he was Latino, not Latina. But nor did I speak a lick of Spanish. So I find myself not at Taco Bell, but we're gonna find it. Anywho, I found the Taco Bell location and I've been doing this fun thing uh, after a few drinks where I like to run and like lap people, especially old people. So I, I was doing that. <laughs> And there was a beautiful ambiance in the air uh, outside the Taco Bell. There was a man getting arrested for God knows what. But I got myself a $20 foot long Baja Blast and I added. That is crazy, bro. That, bro. It, oh my God. This is sick, bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. 
It's like this world just always surprises me with something new, bro. I wouldn't be surprised if McDonald's had a menu in some, over there somewhere and it said alcohol drinks, bro. I would not be surprised, bro. I would not be. Because why do Taco Bell got an alcohol, what's the call it, thing? At, it's crazy, bro. Three tequila shots to that motherfucker. Like, holy God, I love America. This is what I moved to this country for. Thank you. Do you guys actually do weddings here? Dang. How much is like the wedding? <laughs> you do weddings there. That is crazy. Package. I'm not buying that. The Taco Bell wedding, wedding package is 777 Bro, this is just killing me, bro. Like, bro, what is this? Like, the Taco Bell. Look at this, bro. You get up. <laughs> they got it in the wine. Oh my God, the Baja Blast. They made the sauces as flowers. Mr. and Mrs. with the Taco Bell signature, bro. A bowl that's made out of like the taco seasonings and stuff like that. Wedding must be booked at least four hours prior to the ceremony. We do not provide marriage license, so you need to get one before the ceremony. Too much, bro. A wedding package is $777. You wish. So. Call me crazy, but I would argue that to-go alcohol is the greatest American invention ever. Also, what did that man do? Nothing, in my opinion. Free him. He's a murderer. Free him. This would literally send a European into hemorrhagic shock, but not me. I was walking around like three drinks down at this point. I passed the restaurant chain that I used to work at that is fucking evil and contemplated getting a tattoo. Yeah. This is so fucking ominous because who's who's coming soon? Who are Does he have a girlfriend or something, bro? Like, is this what he just, he just explored the world, which is pretty cool to be honest, but like, are you? There's no details. It just says she's coming soon. Fucking okay. I wonder if they've explored each other's bodies. Hell, <laughs> fucking no. I forgot that there was three drinks. I forgot that there's three drinks in this one drink. I got three total shots in it. How many drinks? Oh, so the cup fully shattered. Is that a sign from God to stop drinking? No. I also found one of those like tourist trap 360 rotation things and I made the awful decision to do it because it was ten dollars. I guess you know the on there, I didn't okay. realize you were like supposed to do something and like move with it. So I I stood still, but the second time I locked the fuck in. That was not the best idea, because I'm prone to motion sickness. So not have been spinning, so not have been spinning. What the fuck are they doing? I'm gonna eat this place. Godzilla, that man has been four fucking times. I didn't even want to do it once. <laughs> Could I be an alcoholic? No. Does he have a Dior backpack on? That look like Dior, don't it, chat? Definitely look like Dior. <laughs> Could I be an alcoholic? No. I'm very grateful that, uh, right. to me, alcohol tastes like poison, and my body agrees. 15 drinks later, I think the odds of me getting addicted are very slim. But what legal addiction are we missing? Cocaine. I also had this addiction when I was younger in the form of CSGO skins. Now in Las Vegas, the literal second I got off the plane, there was slot machines. Oh my God, there. oh my God, for real. I go to Las Vegas on trips with my mom. These machines like cocoa melt me. I was so jealous. I wanted to do them so bad. So um, my mom just let me loose in Las Vegas. So while recovering from my alcoholism, I took $200 out from the ATM. And I think it's so beautiful that the ATM is kind enough to say, hey buddy, do you have a gambling addiction? You want to call this hotline? As if that's stopping anyone with their ad. Exactly like if they had a problem with it, why didn't you just like take all of it away, bro? But it's crazy because like, like it's really, it's really what the United States really say, bro. Like this is a free country, bro. Like anything goes. It's what it is literally what they're saying, bro. Anything goes. 
It's a free country. A debit card already in the fucking machine. <sighs> this is crazy, bro. I can't believe this. What should have stopped me though is the ten dollar. ATM fee that I have to pay. Okay. Awesome. Now, in casinos in Las Vegas, all these machines basically do the same thing. You line up five of whatever symbol, and then you win the jackpot, or like three, and you win like a mini. And they have themes like Wonka, Crazy Rich Asians, the 2018 romantic comedy movie, the, a Big Flaming Pots, Whitney Houston, because nothing says R.I.P. Whitney Houston like a... Uh, like ruining people's lives of gambling addiction. So I sat down and I kissed my $20 bill goodbye. I don't know what the fuck any of this means. The first spin, I won a whole $5. Mamas, that's how they get you. No chemical like caffeine or nicotine. They lock your ass in with neurochemicals. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then before I knew it, a few spins later, I was down to five cents. These motherfuckers. These little fucking Oompa Loompas. But I thought maybe they're not all the same. Maybe Mr. Big Cheese or. Nah, bro. That's exactly how it was, bro. Because my first 21st. That casino, bro. I did that. I did like 20, 40. I ain't come back with nothing. I will never play with my money. I don't play with my money. Over here will show me some luck and some grace. But I quickly clued into a certain technique that they use on you, where you gamble a certain amount, say $5, and then you win $3, and it feels like you won, but you still lost $2 in the grand scheme of things. But it feels like a fucking win. And it just keeps you going. And I kept going. Is it always just a losing game? I will go from $20 all the way up to $60, but not cash out. I keep spinning, and then boom, we're back down to $0. Faster than you can say, Super Sally Shrimp Mania 4 link oh boy super sally shrimp mania 4 which i also lost 20 dollars to that was 20 dollars gone in the blink of an eye this is like the most bored i felt in so long there's absolutely nothing exciting about like going to whoa, pulling the little fucking lever and then you you just watch your money burn I, right Sorry if this is insensitive. How the fuck do you get a gambling addiction? Casinos are maybe the most depressing fight, environment I've ever been in. And I've been to the fucking North Korea border. So, overall. Because, like, think of it like this. Somebody on their last, they last 20, bro. They last, they very last 20. And, and they like, I want to risk it all and go to the casino and see if I could be a millionaire. And then it's like a 50-50 chance. I really feel like it's a 95 it's a 5% chance that you'll win versus 95, bro. Because, like, bro, it's, they be cheating. There are so many factors that can make you more or less ad addicted to things, more they prone to addiction. Doing, I am, thankfully, probably never going to get addicted to alcohol. But I know that nicotine can very quickly, as it kind of did in this video, even after I quit the nicotine, take over your life. I've been around people that are nightmares to be around when they can't find their vape. Like genuinely, please don't, don't, don't even try them. PSA, you look stupid as fuck if you are addicted to something called a geek bar with fucking Spotify on it. Anyways, I'm gonna go do some real shit like cocaine. I mean, I'm glad that he don't do it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he does do it, bro, for real. Because he makes so many videos about them type of things, I think. so. But I'm going to look at his channel. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he actually is trying to help the community. But uh, doing it is crazy, though. I mean, he's he's really... I ain't going to lie. Without thinking about it, he actually kind of doing something right. Kind of. But it's still wrong at the same time, chat. Like... You know how somebody be like, oh, like, just like me, for example, like, oh, it's really bad for you, yada, yada, yada. I'm just speaking and not doing it with action. He's doing both of them at the same time and actually putting it to the test and why it's bad for you, all this other stuff. But, like, he got a little bit of motion sickness. He was coughing a little bit. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. Like, I... I don't know, chat. But anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Let me know some more banger videos that's different from the content that we got going on. And without further ado, I'll catch y'all in the next one.